This is Silva. For years, the computer operating system market has been dominated by Windows and Mac OS. But taking a look at how the tech war between the US and China is becoming very unpredictable, Chinese tech firms want to break this geopoly by developing their own operating systems for their PCs. I did give you an update some few months ago about the fact that Huawei was secretly planning to ditch the Windows operating system and develop their own operating systems to power their PCs. You can equally check this video description for that particular update. Now, just a few days ago, Huawei officially unveiled their own operating systems for PCs, which is the Harmony OS, marking a bold move to directly compete with Windows and Mac OS. Per plans, Huawei will be doing this the upper way by unifying their software ecosystem, covering smartphones, smartwatches, and other IoT devices. This moves from Huawei could have a very huge effect, not just on Apple, but this could have a much damaging effect, especially on Windows. Bear in mind that this isn't the first time we are actually seeing Huawei making this kind of bold moves. We saw Huawei taking on Android and iOS by releasing the Harmony OS Nest for smartphones in China just last year. And per reports, the smartphone version of the Harmony OS has already managed to overtake iOS in China allowing the OS to become the second largest OS in the Chinese market and the third largest OS at the global level. So, what awaits Windows now that Huawei has officially released the PC version of the Harmony OS? Only time will tell. What says the Harmony OS PC apart is the fact that this OS was actually built from scratch and integrated with Huawei's own AI frameworks. Aside this, it will be backed by Deep6 AI model promising smarter functionalities, enhanced security, and seamless performance. Per report, Huawei is currently the third largest PC brand in China, with Lenovo being the market leader, whilst Apple follows at a second position. So, what is the implication of this? Bear in mind that already these Chinese tech firms were already looking for alternatives. So this move from Huawei could set the ball rolling pushing more Chinese PC makers to either make a shift from the Windows operating system to Huawei's Harmony OS or develop their own operating systems. By taking a look at how complicated it is to develop and sustain a software ecosystem with regards to PCs, it is more likely that these Chinese PC makers would prefer a switch from Windows to the Harmony ecosystem if they need be, especially when it comes to PCs made for sales in the Chinese market. Now, as much as the Harmony operating system looks promising, as of now, all signs are pointing to the fact that the PC version of the Harmony OS would only be made available for sales in China. The reason being that being able to develop an operating system is a different thing on its own, and being able to convince software developers to develop softwares compatible with the OS is another thing on its own. So for now, Huawei has a lot of work to do to convince software developers to develop compatible apps for the Harmony OS PC version. In China, this wouldn't be a difficult task for Huawei to do at all, but at a global level, more work needs doing to be able to bring on board popular software developers into Huawei's ecosystem. Because why would people buy a PC if it is not compatible with their favorite apps? Also, before Huawei ventures into the global market with a PC equipped with a Harmony OS, it makes a lot of business sense for them to first use the Chinese market as a test market, giving them the opportunity to gather feedback from users with regards to the software user experience. Also, delaying the rollout of the Harmony OS PC version for global users will also give Huawei the ample time to attract more apps into their ecosystem. So, what is your take on this? Do you think Huawei has a chance when it comes to the survival of the OS, especially at a global level? And do you think we having a third OS for PC is a step in the right direction? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this content informative, kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. See you in the next one. I'm out.